All right, guys, today I want to do a little uh, app review um, and show you how this works. Um, so the name of the app is called Nandroid Browser. It's right here. And let's click on it. You can get this from um, the Google Play. But basically what it does, I'm going to back out so you can see this. Oops, sorry, here, I'll start over. Basically what it does is it browses your SD card here. And you're going to look for your Nandroids. Well, this is running SafeStrap on my Droid 3, so it's going to be in the SafeStrap folder. If you're running um, something with Clockwork Mod Recovery, it'll be in your Clockwork Mod Recovery folder. So then I'm going to go to you can you can you can browse through your System Original or your System Safe. I'm going to go to System Original right now. I'm going to select Data. And it's going to pull up all of your APKs, anything in your data, um, on your system original. So, if you want, now you can actually install something. So, for example, right here is Kindle, uh, Amazon Kindle app, APK. You just click on it, hit open view, and now you can restore or install this app from your Nandroid. Which I'm going to do right now. So now you have um, an app that you just installed from an Android backup. And as you can see, here's Kindle. So uh, basically, if you have an app that you made, you you have on an Android, you you want, but you want it, and you don't want to like, you know, go all the way through all that process of restoring an Android, you can just extract the app out of your um, Android with this program. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. You can see here I just put Kim Kindle in here, Amazon Kindle. Um, so it's really it comes in handy if there's something on on uh, an Android that you want. You can go in there and you can find the APK file, which is the app file, and click on it and install it. Um, to to do that, also make sure in settings, system settings, um, you have uh, unknown sources checked, which I think is under security. Yes, right here. Unknown sources. Um, because it's not coming from the market, so because it's coming from an Android, you have to make sure that's checked or else it will not allow you to install it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just go in there. Like I said, find where you have your Android stored. It's either going to be in SafeStrap or Clockwork Mod Recovery. And pick whichever whatever backup that you think it's in. And then search through it and see what APKs you can find in there. And when you find one you want, just click on it and install it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, nice little simple app. Again, it's called Nandroid Browser. Um, now, I'm going to kind of go through this too. I can't do it on here, but ROM Toolbox, we're going to go into it, um, also has this feature, but it's strictly for Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay? Um, it doesn't seem to work with SafeStrap, but I'll just kind of show it to you anyway. Uh, let's see if I can get it to load up here. All right, so you go into ROM Toolbox, and I'm going to show you how you do this. You go to um, App Manager, and you click on it, and it's going to populate all of the apps that are on your device right now. Um, and then you're just going to go to this menu button down here, <clears throat> and then hit More. And actually, you can even touch this little Android guy in the top corner. Right here, it says Extract. Clockwork Mod Recovery Backup Extract From. So you just click that, and then there'll be a list of all of your Clockwork Mod Recovery Backups or Nandroids right there. And then you can click on it. I Like I said, I don't have any on this device. But you click on it right there, and then you'll have a list of all of your apps that are in there. And you can go ahead and restore any app from that. Um, so it'll be a real nice interface, but strictly for Clockwork Mod Recovery um, system. Uh, but that is how you do it, and that will extract it from your Nandroid, and you can restore it with it. So ROM Toolbox is a great uh, application. Um, for the Droid X2, not so great. Don't use it for it. I mean, you can use some of the features in it. There's still a lot of great features in it, I'm sorry. But when it comes to like managing your ROMs with it, you're just going to uh, run into trouble. But App Manager... Root browser, script, emulator, ad blocker, all these kind of other functions in here do work with um, the Droid X2. You know, font change, your boot animations, a, a lot of this really does work with it. It's just when it comes to managing your ROMs, you don't want to do it. So, 
Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that would be how to restore a app pulled from an Android backup. Um, again, you got ROM Toolbox or uh, an Android browser. Both can be got from Google Play. So yeah, go ahead, check them out, guys. And thanks for watching this, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.